Daniel says, I'm wondering if I should buy Office 365 or not. My current school only uses G Suite. This past year, I've been doing or creating assignments and assessments on Canvas. I do enjoy Outlook for home use. So personal AOL email account, whoa, whoa, uh, Gmail accounts and an Outlook email account. Can't use, the desk, yeah, can't use the desktop Outlook app at work uh, on work device. Does G Drive handle Office files well? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> isn't PowerPoint better than Google Slides, especially in terms of embedding video and audio? I haven't used much Office applications the past year due to working with Canvas, and I have little experience using G Suite products. Should I buy Office 365 or not? No. You should trial it first. Trial it. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's exactly. Yeah, true. That is fantastic advice, Sean. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I'm re I, I really agree with you. I think I think it is great advice to trial it first. You know, does he need yeah. it? Yeah. Probably not. I mean, honestly, the things that have been brought up in the in the scope of this particular question are I literally don't know anything about software and I have an AOL account. Like if you read into this question, <laughs> I mean I I don't well, know, right? I mean, if all you're trying to do is store some files, put some stuff in some slide decks, and and, and honestly, if if your school is providing you with G Suite for no cost, and you don't know well, any more than that, not, do you have to make it? It's it's if the bulk of the activities are working with people that are using G Suite, you should use what everybody else is. Yeah. Whether whether the office suite is superior in certain areas is irrelevant if right. the, everybody else is using the the other thing I, I, in I, Rome. I, it'll be easier right. to work with because you're all on the same right. platform the only yeah. thing there that i kind of go you know the powerpoint better than google slides in terms of embedding video and audio means he's having some uh, they yes he danielle thought about a double check um having some challenges with it so that could be you know the tipping factor what is the extras that you are needing to help and support you but then you've got a new product that you're going to need to learn as part of that particular process um, but if Canva is already doing a lot of that for you for example and you are in Canva and um, very popular and especially being you know used and depending on what career you want to go into too is another really big one is it something that you need to pick up as a skill now uh, you know as a student before you hit the market is another question it's like where are you on your journey right well that's and that's the other thing is that and there are um enough differences and nuances between the products if you're not using the office suite for work and with other groups of people um then and and, and getting up to speed on enough of the differences and knowing how to navigate between the two like every time i in interact with uh you know education customers or i've like i've leveraged grad students for research projects and and they insist on using google products and then there's compatibility issues like the calendaring is all messed up in between they just they won't talk properly between those things um so if you are using both enough that you're aware of the differences and can kind of navigate around them fine but if the majority of what you're doing is in one stick with the one where the majority of folks are I mean, look, long term, I said, once you, all these students are, are uh, I would, the m majority of these students are going to have an impact when they leave school and find that most companies use the Microsoft suite and they'll struggle with some of those differences. Are they more powerful oh, across the board? They are. There's more features. They do more. They're more compatible across the board in every category. Yep. Except yep. with working with Google suite. Yeah, because the fact yeah. that it's got there, you know, I have little experience using G Suite products and asking those questions. It's like a it's sort of that fork of the road. Do I go diving down into the G Suite and really kind of get used to or diving down into Office? And it's just like, well, if you need extra features and you want the full power, then dive down Office. Right. Yeah. 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 I think that's the big thing is what 
what what is your need at the time? And, you know, it's good to learn things for the future, but, you know, do you change just for the sake of change or do you say change because you're having a pain point? And when you're a student, if you can't afford that extra money, you know, use what you have. But I, I do think, you know, to Sean's point, you can, there are plenty of opportunities out there to trial or to get free copies and, you know, go, you know, go, go check it out and see what it is and see what the options are and see if it really is something that you need or not. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to use the G Suite on a regular basis. I co-teach a class uh, through Teals up in Cleveland. And for the last couple of years, I've been using G Suite to interact with them because that's what they use. That's what they get for free. That's what they have the students using. Most of the students are on Chromebooks. They're not on desktops. Mm -hmm. So that's what works best for them. And you know what? It It's good enough. So... I would also, I'll just kind of throw in at the end, is that there are a bunch of ex-Microsoft people that got hired with that uh, Google Workspace team. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting over the next couple of years to see what happens. I I'm have just a single Google Workspace hash- license myself for my blog domain. Yep. Hashtag uh, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>